Hey everybody, welcome back to another Permaslug episode. My name is Jonathan and I wanted to take you on a tour of the most complex oxygen website I've ever built. This is not intended to be some like, look at me and how great I am at oxygen development because there's a lot of people that are better than I am. But really what I wanna do is demonstrate what's possible with oxygen once you get a handle on what it can do and how big a site you can actually build with it. So for me, it's really helped transform my agency and just grow it bigger than I ever thought possible. And a lot of that has to come down to how much more I can do with oxygen than I could with any other page builder. So when Avalon came to me to rebuild Avalon Cake's school, the problems that she was facing from back then were the site was super slow and hard to search. And really what we decided to do was just rebuild it from the ground up. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of some of the stuff as a user so you can see what it took to get it working. And then I'll give you a little bit of insight into how we did that in Oxygen. Now, just for the sake of security and kind of, you know, trade secrets, I'm not gonna show the back end of the site, but I will take you on a tour of the front end and give you a brief idea of what Oxygen components you're looking at. What you're looking at here is the member dashboard page. This is actually just a regular WordPress page and we just built it out manually in Oxygen. So on the left-hand side, you can see there's a bunch of controls that the users will definitely take advantage of, like viewing their favorites, upcoming events, community, their account section and all that kind of stuff. And then you have recent posts over here on the right-hand side. This right here is just a repeater that's set to pull in the most recent tutorials and it shows the most recent six. On the left-hand side, we have a completely custom slide-in menu. So when you hover over these icons, it displays the rest of the content here. If you click a section, then it will pop up with further links for you, which is pretty cool. We'll jump over into the content library in just a little bit, but I wanted to show you, this is the kind of view that a logged-in user is going to see on their member dashboard. The other thing is you also have your account control. So you view like purchase content, pending orders, all that kind of stuff over here. And then there's also a modal right here with some premium content that I will refrain from showing, but that has another cool member benefit there. Now, if I scroll down, there are some other things here. So if I have favorites, those are automatically gonna pop in here. When live events are happening, those show up. There's polls and all kinds of other stuff. Down here at the bottom, this is all the instructors across the site. So if I click on one of them, it's gonna take me to their instructor page and I can see all of their tutorials. And of course, this is in a slider. So I can just drag this down and we can take a look at all the instructors across the site. With that, let's just go ahead and click on one. So I'm gonna choose Avalon. And on this page, a lot of this stuff is being pulled in through ACF fields. But if we scroll down, we're also gonna see all of their tutorials, which is pretty neat. So their classes and their tutorials. And these are automatically populated based on an ACF relationship field. So when a new tutorial is created, you simply select the instructor in the back end and it automatically populates in here. The reverse is also true as well. So if you go to an instructor's page, you can attach tutorials to it and they pop up like this, which is super awesome. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and jump over to the tutorial library. So if I click on content library, it's gonna take us to the tutorials archive template in Oxygen. Now on the left-hand side over here, what we have is a bunch of facet WP filters. So of course you have membership level. These are ACF fields. The type is another field. Instructor I just mentioned is coming from that ACF relationship field, which is pretty cool. So we'll choose Avalon here, and then let's choose premium membership level. Now what you'll find is because my account is set to a classic member level, we have this lock icon that pops up on these tutorials, which is pretty neat. You can still click on that, which I'll do in just a moment. But this particular feature is something that would have been pretty much impossible in any other page builder. But in Oxygen, all we had to do was utilize a condition to check the membership level of the user versus what the post requires. Now I'm gonna uncheck premium real quick here and give you an idea of some of the other stuff here. So we of course have classic premium and free as the membership levels. And you can see those different text fields are basically just shown and hidden based on ACF fields and conditions. And then these icons here, you can see they differ based on the type of tutorial that it is. Those are just SVGs that again are showing and hiding based on oxygen conditions. We also are able to filter by category. So this is a custom post type for tutorials that we set up a custom taxonomy for. So they have categories. We chose like 3D cakes. Then you can see it's gonna filter down for us. And let's say because I'm classic, I only wanna see classic tutorials. That's what you're left with, which is pretty awesome. So now let's take a look at what a premium tutorial looks like if you try to go to it as a classic member. So instead of actually seeing the tutorial content, what you see instead is effectively what we name the sales div. So this is gonna show a bunch of information about the tutorial that is designed to have you either purchase the membership or upgrade. Now what's really cool about this is there's a number of things like this line right here that says this tutorial requires a premium membership. You're only gonna see that if you don't have a premium membership and you're logged in. Now likewise, if you're a logged out user, you're gonna see become a member 
versus of course what I see is a classic member that says upgrade. So we have two different buttons that are showing and hiding based on those membership level conditions. Another really cool thing is that a lot of these tutorials can be purchased individually. If that's the case, you also get this or box here. And inside of that, you get the link to the WooCommerce product that can be bought individually. And this whole thing pulls in dynamically for you. That was accomplished with custom code so that Avalon didn't have to come in here and manually input that every single time. As you scroll down a bit, there is some gallery images. And then also she has the ability to pick specific tutorials to show in this you may also like section. So that's done with an ACF post object field so that she has the ability to choose whatever she wants to show up down here. And if not, it's gonna pull in just based on the category of the given tutorial, which is pretty neat. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is we needed to have a specific search results template for logged in users. So if I click on this search, what it's gonna do is take me to the search results page and in that we have a couple of content types selected. So we wanted to show recipes, tools, and tutorials, and that's the only three options you have. We didn't want users bouncing back and forth between the blog because what they're after is these three content types right here. So we went ahead and pre-selected those for them to have available. And of course you still have that lock functionality, which is pretty neat. Because these are faceted search, let's say I just type in the word dog here. Then of course I'm only left with tutorials that fit those filters. So it has to have the word dog in it. And then the content type can be any of those three. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and log out and give you a demonstration of how things change. So here's the homepage of the website and as a logged out user, you can see things do look quite a bit different. So there's a completely different header and of course you have that login functionality like you would expect. So we have a sticky header builder up there that changes to a different menu as you scroll down, which is pretty neat. I'm gonna jump in here to the blog real quick. And then here is the blog archive template. So at the top up here, we have the swiper.js slider. So you can kind of swipe through the blog archives here. This is just a repeater that we built. And then there's the sidebar over there. The sidebar applies to all of the blog posts as well. So we made this sidebar a reusable part. Then if you noticed, it's going to pick up this pink bar as we scroll down. So it's actually two different components here. So we have the header builder, and then this is just a div with a couple of links to the blog categories. And as we scroll down, it's gonna pick up that pink bar and that pink bar is going to scroll with us. And then as we go up, it kind of releases it and puts it back where it belongs. Now, the other thing I wanna do is take you back to the tutorial library here as a logged out user. And you can see that left-hand sidebar menu is completely gone. And instead we have the menu that works for the blog and the homepage as a logged out user. Now, of course, I don't see that lock functionality anymore because I'm not logged in at all. So there's nothing to check against for that particular lock icon to set up. So now if I go back to a premium tutorial here, you can see I get that same sales div, but instead of upgrade membership, now I have become a member because of course I'm not a member at all and I'm also not logged in. So for the most part, things are relatively similar, but again, there's that this requires a premium membership, that line is gone. Now in terms of what it took to accomplish this, it took us a very long time, which was a lesson for me in terms of time management and also just figuring out the scope of projects is really gonna be an important lesson for me to take on in the future. But with that in mind, it ended up taking 16 different oxygen templates. We had nine ACF field groups. We had 49 ACF fields. And in Basecamp, which we worked very closely in, we completed 141 to-dos to get this site up and live and everything that you see working. There's so much more that went on in the back end, but just to get it working on the front end, as far as what a user could see, that is basically what we had to do. We also wrote three different custom content protection conditions for oxygen. And then, like I said, that custom sidebar menu was of course manually coded as well. So there's a lot of stuff that would have been totally possible to do without any custom code, but we just took it another step further by having a developer step in and help us with some custom code. So shout out to them. They know who they are on that. Again, I just wanted to demonstrate to you what is possible in oxygen and also because I really love Avalon and I wanted to show off her site. So this is really, really awesome. I'm not sure if I mentioned already, but she came to me with completed mockups, which was just a dream come true. And I was able to basically just turn it into a live site. I know I can speak for her when I say she loves oxygen. It's basically been a breath of fresh air for her, ha ha ha. Anyway, so hopefully this look into the most complex site I've personally ever built gives you some inspiration as to what's possible and makes you just as excited to continue your oxygen journey as it does for me. As usual, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a future video.